when I cook some amanita mushroom the safe way. And I hope I don't die today. <laughs> Hi, my name is Amor Rodriguez and this is Amor Rodriguez Survival. Welcome to my channel. On my way to Astoria, specifically Fort Stevens State Park. My buddy told me that I could find bolitos, oysters, lobsters, or even matsutake mushrooms there. So on my way there, let's see what we can find on the woods. This place is by the ocean. There's a lot of grasses where people find edible and medicinal mushrooms here. So let's check it out. <sighs> Not having any luck finding any king bolitos, so even oysters, but there is a bunch of Amanita muscaria here. This is the fly agaric. They call it also fly amanita. It's a famous mushroom because it's like in video games like Mario or in like the Smurfs. It's also in a lot of literature. And they are, uh, you gotta be careful because there are some variations and subspecies of them. But you can actually eat them. You can parboil them. I'm gonna do two changes of water. And they are actually pretty delicious. Take it to the river and cook them up. Okay, so we've been harvesting mushrooms. When I cook some amanita mushroom, the safe way. I know there is a big taboo about these mushrooms, but if you do it right and you are in a survival situation or you just want to try them, there is a way to do this, but it's always knowing what to do. So in this video, I'll try to show you a proper way to cook the amanitas, which is the fly agaric, but we do need some wood for this, chop a little bit in here. Cool. Sounds dry. That's what we want because it's been raining a bunch. So everything is wet. So when you're looking for firewood in a wet area like this, you gotta go high and dry. So anything that's off the ground, you won't be sucking up the moisture. And you wanna get inside the wood because that's where it's dry. And uh, grasses that have been off the ground are useful. Or oh, the inner bark of the trees, the cambium layer, usually of the cottonwoods, well, the poplars, they work really well, especially when they have started the retaining process. That means they have been dead for a year or two, a couple of years. You can make fiber and tinder bundles out of it. Okay. Let's try that one. Yeah, everything has been so wet with the rains that we have had. I've been drying this for a while, but it's still taking some time. There we go. Jeez. Wow. Finally. Okay, that's good. Eh? Okay, now I put clean water and we'll go to, we're going to do a second boil now. Cover it first. Okay, this is the second boil. It's already starting to go. Since I have such a small pot, we're gonna do, uh, we boil it for 10 minutes, but it was really boiling as you can see in the clip. Now we're gonna boil it for five more minutes and then try another, dump the water and then try another five minutes because it's such a small pot. And we can add a little salt now. If you add salt and vinegar, it can help you get rid of those toxins as well. And it adds a little flavor to it.
Okay, it's been boiling. Yep. I think they look clean to me. Double boil. There is a little tiny color on the water. Cool, so look, it's been boiling second time, so I'm about to dump this water. Something like that. They lost that red color, the Santa Claus, the typical color that they have, super red with the white spots. Now they just Mm, white and a little orangey. Cool. Pretty happy with that, I think. It's pretty good. Dry them a bit. Pretty good. So we're gonna fry them up. Add a little salt. But I wanna fry them pretty well. So again, I just want to make sure you get my drift of be careful if you're doing these things. You know what the TV says sometimes, viewer discretion, it's a no. The, uh, do not attempt this yourself at home unless you know how to do it, whatever. Just like, it's, uh, I know it's a big taboo with these mushrooms, but I just want to show you that it is also uh, a survival food. If you are out there lost in the Pacific Northwest or anywhere that has this mycelium and this mushroom, if you, let's say for some reason, I doubt it, but that's only the only thing you have to eat, you can actually eat those. But you have to prepare them properly. Double boil water will get rid of the neurotoxins that will make you really sick. I think they're turning pretty good. They look actually pretty delicious. Oh, they're turning. I love the color. Okay. Catch and cook a manita muscaria. <laughs> Fly agaric. Double boil and fry. And actually, they look really delicious. I'm gonna try it. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. And I hope I don't die today. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, the guys said they were really good. Wow. That's actually really tasty, man. Yummy. Mm. I think they turned out pretty good. If you ask me. Well, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you are safe and careful when harvesting and hunting for mushrooms. Always remember to have friends or mentors that can help you when you are foraging. Always remember to do your homework with your books, uh, sport prints, pictures, internet phone calls, whatever you need to do to try to be safe out there. But there are a bunch of alternatives and this is one of them. If you've enjoyed this content and want to support Amos Rodriguez Survival, check out his Patreon here, the latest upload here, and don't forget to subscribe to Amos's channel right here. Amos Rodriguez Survival is brought to you by Fowler's Make Cream Mischief Studios. You can check out our channel there.